As fans of Sex and the City, we've all debated endlessly over who was Carrie Bradshaw's true love. Mr. Big, the enigmatic businessman with whom she shared a tumultuous relationship, or Aiden, the kind-hearted furniture designer who offered stability. However, amidst these romantic entanglements, there is one contender often overlooked. And no, I'm not talking about Jack Berger. Ew. I'm talking about Manolo Blahnik, Manolo Blahnik, Manolo Blahnik, Manolo Blahnik. Recently, I asked you which fashion brand you associate with SATC the most and a whopping 87% of you answered Manolo Blahnik. Talk about brand awareness. And so I couldn't help but wonder how did the creators of SATC seamlessly embed this footwear brand into our minds? And was Carrie Bradshaw the prototype for today's social media influencers, shaping consumer preferences with her unapologetic devotion to luxury goods? But before we continue, I'd like to thank Thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. If you haven't heard about Skillshare before, they are the largest online learning community for creatives. I've been using Skillshare for many years now and I've actually learned how to edit my YouTube videos in Final Cut Pro thanks to their classes. But besides video editing, Skillshare offers a wide range of classes from marketing, productivity, diversifying your income. A class Carrie Bradshaw should definitely take to crocheting, animation, creative writing, building a successful Etsy shop, you name it, Skillshare probably has a class on it. My favorite thing about Skillshare is their learning paths, which are curated classes from different teachers focused on a single topic designed to be taken in order. The learning path I'm currently taking is learn to sew all the skills you need to make your own clothing. As a fashion lover, I'm always looking for ways to widen my fashion knowledge and what better way to do it than by learning how to make my own clothes or by upcycling the clothes I I already own. Skillshare has very kindly given you a free trial. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So make sure to click my link in the description and thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Hey, it's Gary. I'm shoe shopping. When Sex and the City first graced our screens in 1998, it shattered conventions with its candid portrayal of four single women in their 30s and 40s navigating love, life and careers in the bustling metropolis of New York City. The series, created by Darren Starr and based on Candace Bushnell's book, quickly became a cultural phenomenon and forever changed the landscape of female-centric storytelling. Through its portrayal of four distinct characters, romantic Charlotte, adventurous Samantha, cynical Miranda, and neurotic Carrie, the show highlighted the power of friendship in overcoming life's ups and downs. It became a cultural phenomenon, influencing everything from the ways we talked about relationships to our menus. The Magnolia Bakery became extremely popular after only a 30-second long scene of Carrie and Miranda enjoying buttercream cupcakes outside the bakery. Tutu skirts, flower corsages, and nameplate necklaces, the show influenced numerous fashion trends. Yet amidst the whirlwind of cosmopolitans and designer labels, one name emerged as synonymous with the show's iconic fashion – Manolo Blahnik. Born in Spain in 1942, Blonick sought a creative outlet and found his calling in shoe design. In the late 1960s, he moved to London and later in 1970 to New York, following the suggestion of the renowned Diana Vreeland. It was Vreeland who recognized his talent for shoe design and encouraged him to pursue it. Blonick's career gained momentum in New York when he collaborated with designer Ossie Clark, creating shoes for Clark's collections. This collaboration began Blonick's ascent to prominence in the fashion industry. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, he experienced prolific growth, gaining recognition for his iconic designs. Bianca Jagger, Princess Diana, and other celebrities and fashion connoisseurs loved his creations. Still, it was Sex and the City that catapulted his brand into the mainstream consciousness, transforming his signature stilettos into coveted status symbols. Believe it or not, but the first time Manolo Blahnik was mentioned in the show was during the opening monologue of the pilot episode. They traveled, they paid taxes, 
They'll spend $400 on a pair of Manolo Blahnik strappy sandals. While product placement in television shows was not a novel concept, SATC revolutionized this practice by seamlessly integrating Manolo Blahnik's shoes into the narrative. The series became synonymous with lavish shoe close-ups, branded shoe boxes were prominently featured in Carrie's apartment decor, along with the scenes when she carried Manolo Blahnik's shopping bags. From Carrie's shoe-centric monologues to the infamous The Urban Shoe Myth moment, where she finds a pair of black leather pumps in Vogue's closet, the brand's presence felt organic and integral to the storyline. As a result, Manolo Blahnik transcended its status as mere footwear and became a character in its own right, with each pair symbolizing a pivotal moment in Carrie's journey. These shoes pinch my feet, but I love them. In the third season's penultimate episode, Carrie gets mugged at gunpoint. The mugger demands her bag, jewelry, watch, and notably, her Manolo Blahniks. This scene cleverly blends self-awareness and absurdity, especially when Carrie starts to beg the mugger to let her keep her sample sale bought strappy sandals. She doesn't care about her ID, credit cards, house keys, or other essential contents of her Fendi baguette. All she wants is to keep her favorite pair of Manolo. Somebody stop him! He took my strappy sandals! A similar situation occurs in the sixth season when Carrie attends a shoes off baby shower. After the party, she realizes that her bedazzled heels, designed by, surprise, surprise, Manolo Blahnik, got stolen. Well, actually, they weren't sandals, they were Manolos. The party hostess doesn't seem to care, making Carrie feel small for spending money on shoes instead of having kids. This incident prompts Carrie to think about how women must make choices about their lives, their jobs, relationships relationships and what makes them happy. Ultimately, Carrie decides to stand up for herself and say it's okay to live how she wants, even if she likes fancy shoes. Sometimes it's hard to walk in a single woman's shoes. That's why we need really special ones now and then, to make the walk a little more fun. During the show's initial run, Carrie Bradshaw became an aspirational figure for viewers with her whimsical style and insatiable love for shoes. Her iconics shut down the streets of Manhattan, adorned in Manolo Blahnik's finest creations, cemented the brand's status as a symbol of sophistication and femininity. In her insightful book, Sex in the City and Us, How Four Single Women Changed the Way We Think, Live and Love, Jennifer Cashing Armstrong posits that the show obsession with shoes symbolized women's increasing financial independence and agency. Carrie's ability to indulge in luxury purchases, including her coveted Manolos, served as a testament to her autonomy and self-reliance, challenging traditional narratives of female dependence. She writes, Michael Patrick King saw Shaw's shoe fetish as symbolic, a metaphor for women's growing financial power. Maybe she can get Mr. Big, but she can save for the shoes. Shoes also resonated with fairy tale implications. Why wait for Prince Charming when you can buy your own glass slipper? What'd you buy? Shoes. Let me see. However, this narrative is not without its complexities. While Carrie's shoe fetish may signify empowerment on one level, it also underscores the pervasive influence of consumer culture and materialism. The show's romanticization of Carrie's shopping addiction, juxtaposed with her financial struggles, blurs the line between feminist assertion and consumerist indulgence, prompting viewers to question the underlying message about female empowerment and fulfillment. The day after Charlotte met her knight, I met my credit card limit. I spent $40,000 on shoes and I have no place to live? According to the fashion industry insiders, by the turn of the millennium, Manolo Blonix's shoes were flying off the shelves at an unprecedented rate, with demand reaching staggering heights. Although the television series contributed to the brand's fame, the greatest financial triumph came with the release of the first Sex and the City movie in 2008. For the film, Blonix crafted a pair of exquisite royal blue satin heels adorned with glistening buckles. Once again, these shoes played a pivotal role in the storyline. 
At the film's beginning, Carrie and Mr. Big are engaged and hunting for an apartment. They quickly find a nearly perfect one, except for the closet, which needs refurbishing. Coincidentally, Carrie sees her extravagantly large, custom-built walk-in closet for the first time after shopping at Manolo Vlahnik. She puts her newly bought satin blue heels on the shelf and leaves the building. The ultimate single gal, Carrie Bradshaw, will be married in Manolo's to New York financier John James Preston. Come fall. Later in the film, as Carrie and Beck are about to get married, he gets cold feet and ultimately doesn't go through with the wedding. This leaves Carrie devastated and heartbroken. The abrupt ending of the wedding marks a significant turning point in the film and sets the stage for Carrie's journey of self-discovery and personal growth. The shoes are totally forgotten, until later when Carrie rushes to retrieve them from the apartment she was about to share with Mr. Big, only to find him holding them. In a poignant scene, Mr. Big reproposes to Carrie using Manolo's as a token of his commitment and love, supplanting the customary diamond ring. Carrie ultimately gets married to Mr. Big in a simple vintage ensemble which, in reality, was designed by John Galliano for Dior, paired with now iconic satin blue Manolo Blahniks. Following the film's release, the identical shoe model, today known as Hangizi, flew off the shelves in Newman Marcus, underscoring Blonick's enduring influence. 16 years after its release, the Hangizi model remains the top-selling design from Manolo Blonick. It has been crafted in over 100 materials and colors, with 7 different heel heights available. Men I may not know, but shoes, shoes I know. In conclusion, the enduring legacy of Sex and the City's collaboration with Manolo Blahnik transcends mere product placement, symbolizing a cultural shift in portraying women's fashion and empowerment on television. Through Carrie Bradshaw's unapologetic love affair with luxury shoes, the SATC franchise not only transformed Manolo Blahnik into a household name, but also sparked conversations about the intersection of fashion feminism and consumerism. If you've made it this far, well, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate you being here. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, maybe follow me on Instagram and let me know if Sex and the City made you want to own a pair of Manolos and whether that dream came true. See you soon, bye!